What's going on everyone? We're back with another video and as you can see I am dressed up like the Grinch. Why? Because it's my only Christmas attire thing I have uh, right now. I guess I have a Christmas sweater actually. Uh, but I think that's back the way. So this is the only thing I have um, Christmas related. Um, why am I wearing this? Because it's Christmas in July! Hold on. You guys can't really see me that well. Let me turn this light on. <gasps> now you can see my face. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, Christmas in July. Uh, we're wrapping up July. It is the 30th today. I don't know if I'm dropping this video today or tomorrow. It's actually 30. Is there 30 days in July or 31? You stupid! There are 31. So this is either dropping on the 30th or the 31st. Um, but I wanted to give every NBA team a gift real fast. Um, I thought I was in the giving spirit. I know I am the Grinch. Um, but I am, uh, the end of the movie Grinch, right? Where he's nice and happy and everything that's how the movie ends right i don't know i think i've watched it once but i'm totally not sure uh but let's just get into explaining um what i did for everybody so we got the 76ers right here uh what did i do for you guys uh you guys got prime al horford uh very nice um gonna be able to space the floor better and we got an amazing ben simmons why is he a 99 overall because because he's the greatest shooter of all time and yes yes i Made sure to change his tendencies too, um, because I actually filmed this video and I forgot to change a lot of people's tendencies and they didn't end up doing what I wanted them to do, so I had to refill. Uh, so I'm refilming this now. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got the second team here, the Bucks. Would you guys get? Um, you guys get a second Giannis. You guys get Thanasis Antetokounmpo, who is now Giannis 2.0, and you also have a prime Kyle Korver off the bench. I am going to quickly change his position because he is 6'6", Giannis is 6'11", and this team is deadly. This team is absolutely deadly. Uh, we got the Bulls here. Uh, Y'all get this big three back in Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman. Um, team's looking trash, so you guys need a lot of help. So you get the GOAT back. The GOAT. Some people's GOAT. Not my GOAT. Um, but yeah. Uh, Cavs. Y'all get your goat back and LeBron James. And you guys get a prime Kevin Love back. Um, and then you guys also get Larry Nance um, Sr. Uh, you get Larry Nance's Jr.'s dad, who is significantly better than Larry Nance Jr. Um, so you guys got one of the best sixth man. And you also have uh, Tristan Thompson off the bench too. So really solid bench. Um, and I think you guys are going to be all right in this video. Uh, for the Celtics, uh, you guys didn't get too much. You did get... Um, the Boston Celtics all-time Kevin Garnett. Um, I didn't want to give you guys a prime Kevin Garnett because I know your guys' starting life is absolutely ridiculous. And then you guys also get a prime Gordon Hayward. So you guys are looking really nice. Um, and your bench is really nice too. So uh, you guys didn't need too much. Uh, for the Clippers, um, y'all didn't get a lot. Y'all did not get a lot. You guys are already amazing though. You get... <coughs> oh... Damn. Uh, Y'all get a prime Joakim Noah. Offensively trash, but defensively, uh, he was a defensive player of the year, right? I believe he was a defensive player of the year. And he won, <laughs> won a year when he was on Chicago. He was like fifth in MVP voting or something like that. And then you guys also get a prime Lou Will. So two overall upgrades. So your bench is looking even better. So y'all are amazing uh for the grizzlies y'all get the gasol brothers uh best front court in the entire league now um and now you have valentunas and uh jaron jackson jr coming off the bench as with uh brandon clark so y'all have a very deep team um your wing players are kind of trash still but you know what you guys can't have everything uh for the hawks we got a prime vince carter but not only that but trey young is the best defender in the league. A plus perimeter defense. Um, look it up. He has all the Hall of Fame uh, defensive badges. He's gonna be an absolute lockdown defender. Um, can't wait to see what he does. For the Heat, can't do a Heat video without Dwayne Wade. Um, so y'all got Dwayne Wade coming back. Y'all have a slightly better version of Jimmy Butler. Um, this year, his shooting efficiency is dropped very low. So. Uh, his efficiency is a little bit better, and you guys also get a prime Udonis, Udonis Haslam. Uh, so this team is looking really nice. Uh, for the Hornets, uh, y'all didn't get much. Y'all really didn't have anything going for you in your entire uh, um, history. 
So y'all got Kemba Walker back. Y'all get Kobe Bryant after you drafted him, what, 13th or something like that. And then you traded him, I think. So, uh, yeah, this seems still not looking good. You also get ter uh, scary Terry Rozier um, back in his last uh, playoff run with the Boston Celtics. Uh, he was absolutely amazing. So I changed him to be amazing, basically. And I guess I could run Kobe at the small forward and then Terry Rozier. Eh, he's still short though. He's only 6'1", so yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, for the Jazz, y'all get John Stockton, uh, one of the best point guards of all time. And then you guys also get Prime Mike Conley. Uh, before this season, you know, he really dropped off this season, so um, I don't know if this was last year's version or two years ago, but Prime Mike Conley coming off the bench is gonna be one of the best six men in the league. Uh, for the Kings, you guys get a Prime DeMarcus Cousins. Um, one of the best uh, centers uh, before he ended up being injured, you know, multiple times. Um, basically, when he was on the Kings, he was the best center in the league. Uh, then when he was on the Pelicans, he was still, like, one of the best centers in the league. Um, and then after that, when he got injured, that's where things started going downhill. I don't know if I said this, but you guys also have Peja Strajakovic. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. You guys really needed a starting small forward, so that's who you got. For the Knicks, uh, y'all, at one point, there, you guys were going to get Kyrie, KD, and Zion, and you got none of them. So in this video, you get all of them. Um, could be really nice. Team's still kind of trash, though. So we'll see what you guys can do. For the Lakers, originally, I gave you guys a prime rondo. But then I also had to fix uh, Caruso's ratings, because his ratings were messed up for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but he has uh, 75 badges. He has 75 badges uh his ratings are basically the greatest he's basically the greatest player of all time now uh i made sure he was one of the people who i forgot to up his tendencies so i upped his tendencies and uh hopefully he wins mvp uh that's really the only reason i'm doing this video uh for the magic you guys didn't get that much you guys get a prime dwight howard and you also have a fantastic shooting version of markel fultz um three points scoring is good mid-range is really good um, so yeah, uh, y'all basically get the college version, or what was expected of Marco Fultz. Now, um, so you guys didn't get much, you guys aren't going to do that well. Uh, for the Mavericks, we got Prime Dirk, again, one of my favorite players of all time. Why would I do a video without, uh, putting, uh, Prime Dwight in? And then you guys also, I need to switch this up real fast. You guys also get Bobby. Booby is one of the tallest players in the league, and I decided to make him even taller. He is now 7'7". Seven, seven. Um, he's going to be absolutely amazing, um, and I definitely wanted him to get some minutes. Uh, for the Nets, what'd you guys get? You guys got D'Lo, and you get Kevin Durant back from injury. Honestly, I should have done more for you guys. I really should have, but I... I don't know. Um, it, this was what I originally did, and then I didn't go back and add more. I should have added more. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are probably going to do really bad in the sim. But you know what? D-Lo uh, on the Nets, that was one of my favorite teams um, last year. And then you guys get KD back from injury. So For the Nuggets, uh, you guys get Bol Bol. Uh, he's, again, one who I forgot to change his tendencies. He, he did pretty nice um, in the sim, but... Uh, Definitely not what I, I want him to do even better. So his offense is just amazing. It's basically the Orlando bubble version of Bowl Bowl. And then Jokic, you guys see, is a 97 overall. And that is because his athleticism is an A+. plus. He's going to be absolutely amazing. He's going to be a dog. For the Pacers, you guys didn't get too much. You guys got a pre-injury VO back. And then you guys also never got rid of Paul George. Um, yeah, this... Uh, Two of my favorite players in the league. Um, I mean, Paul George pre OKC was one of my favorite players in the league, and then Vo now um, was one of my favorite players in the league. I mean, taking LeBron to seven games a few years ago um, that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, one of my favorite teams, uh, one of my favorite playoff series of all time uh, was that uh, Pacers uh, Cavs series. Uh, for the Pelicans, uh, you guys get Anthony Davis back, which is super nice. But also, Lonzo Ball, uh, when he was coming into the league, he was being called a Steph Curry with a 40-inch vertical. So what did I do? Shooting is amazing. Three-point mid-range is amazing. Tendencies, I upped his tendencies because he was definitely someone who suffered from not having his tendencies. And then his shooting has all Hall of Fame uh, badges. 
for the Pistons, I helped them out a lot. Probably a little bit too much, but you know what? I don't care. Uh, we made D Rose and Blake Griffin uh, their prime versions. Blake Griffin, not their, his prime version, but last year's version, uh, where his basically he wasn't relying on his athleticism as his shooting developed a lot, but then it's kind of gone downhill this year. Uh, we brought Rip Hamilton and Ben Wallace back to the team. Uh, probably my two favorite Pistons of all time. And then we got Sekou, who was um, being called the next Giannis. Um, if you guys are a Pistons fan, you guys have definitely heard um, people say that, uh, that he's going to be the next Giannis. So I gave him all of Giannis' tendencies. So he's a 98 overall. Absolutely fantastic. He's going to be absolutely amazing. For the Raptors, you guys didn't get much. You guys got Kawhi Leonard back. Um, I'm expecting this team to actually not do that well. Um, or not as well. Maybe like a low seed in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, you guys just didn't get too much. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I probably should give you something like maybe like a Prime V. Hey, if I gave you guys a Prime Vince Carter, you guys would have been absolutely nuts. So You know what? You get what you get. Raptors, you just won. Um, championship. Let someone else win. Uh, for the Rockets, I'm going to actually switch their lineup uh, real fast. But as far as what I did to them, uh, they got Yao Ming back. Uh, one of my, again, just an iconic player um, from the 2000s. And you guys also get an MVP version of Russell Westbrook, whose shooting is significantly better. Um, yeah, let me fix uh, the lineup real fast. And I think that's a lot better with Robert Covington and P.J. Tucker in the lineup now. For the Spurs, you guys got your big three back in Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, and Tim Duncan. And this is again, I'm gonna change this up real fast. Okay, I accidentally just imported his attributes and not his uh, face or anything, but Keldon Johnson is now DeMar Rosen basically. Uh, so that's looking really nice. Um, and your bench is really nice too, so don't complain too much. Uh, actually, you have three guards off the bench. That's so terrible, actually. Your guys' wing players are trash. Um, but yeah, you guys got your big three back in Tony Parker, Manu, and Tim Duncan, so just be happy about that. Uh, for the Suns, we got Steve Nash, one of my favorite point guards, um, ever. And you guys got Charles Barkley, one of my favorite people of all time. Um, him and Shaq are just hilarious together. Um, but your starting lineup is looking real nice. Devin Booker finally has some real help, so we'll see what you guys can do. Um, I'm expecting good things from the Suns. Uh, for the Thunder, you guys got your three back in KD. Westbrook and then Harden. I didn't want to make you guys too OP, so I did only give you guys um 2012 version of James Harden, not his MVP like 97 overall version, because I think that would have been just way too OP with the 97, 97, 95. Especially since you guys have great role players in Gallinari, Stephen Adams, Shea, Dan Schroeder, Andre Roberson. So I didn't want you to make it too good uh for the timberwolves you guys got jimmy butler and kevin garnett back um originally i gave you guys kevin garnett but you guys were pretty trash still so i gave you jimmy butler who really helped this team thrive when he was here for that what one season uh you guys made the playoffs so um him kevin garnett have very similar grit and grind mentalities too so i think they'll work very well together uh for the trailblazers you guys got prime carmelo anthony back and that's it Looking at it now, you guys probably could have used someone else, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, I guess he could move to power forward, and then Ronnie Hood could start, but you know what? I'm going to let 2K do his thing. Um, for the Warriors, you guys get a prime Klay Thompson and Draymond Green back. Klay Thompson was only a 2 overall difference, but Draymond Green is literally a 10 overall difference, so that should be really, really big for this team. Um... You guys still don't have a great center, so I'm not actually sure, sure how well you guys are going to do. Because um, the bench is pretty trash, too. And then for the Wizards, you guys get Gary Payton. Um, you guys had Gary Payton the second, uh, so I switched him with Gary Payton. I added Elvin Hayes um, for that defense, and then I have prime John Wall. So, so John Wall's a sixth man now, which is pretty sad, but, you know, it is what it is. You guys have the best sixth man in the league. So there is everything. I don't know if I should go through everybody's system proficiency to make it the best as possible. Like, like defense, balanced, like balanced. Okay. I'm actually going to quickly do that. Go through everybody's system proficiency and then I'll simulate through the season and we'll see what everybody's doing at the end of the year. 
Bro, I was overheating like crazy in that thing, but Caruso! The GOAT! The GOAT! The GOAT! 27, 13 and a half, and 11 and a half. MVP. Two steals, two blocks. Oh my gosh. Same thing happened in the last time. Uh, but look at his free throw percentage, 98.5%. <laughs> John Morant, Rookie of the Year. John Wall, Sixth Man of the Year. Caruso, Defensive Player of the Year. And Luka Doncic, Most Improved Player. Um, These are actually um basically exactly the same as the last time uh, that I screwed up. Uh, Luka, I'm pretty sure did one Most Improved. I'm not sure. That's the only one I'm not. Oh my gosh, the Lakers did even better. 74 and 8. Oh my gosh, I created a monster. But all NBA first team, Caruso, Dwayne Wade, the Nassis makes it over Giannis, and Seku makes it over Giannis. Oh my gosh, and then Tim Duncan also makes it. Uh, all NBA second team, Giannis made that one. Um, both KDs make it. Uh, Michael Jordan and Westbrook make it too. And then all NBA third team, Luka, Westbrook, both LeBrons, and then Dwight Howard. So no bull bull, so that's sad. All defensive Caruso, Trey Young, bro. I told you, lockdown. Scotty Pippen, Charles Barkley, Giannis, and then Jordan, Wade, Kawhi, Kawhi, and Ben Wallace. Let's go representing, representing. Um, so Cleveland, they did a lot better in this sim. Holy crap, they did a lot better in the sim. Um, Lakers, Houston, OKC. Phoenix, where the Nuggets? The Nuggets didn't even make the playoffs. Damn, that's sad. Let's look at standings here. Cleveland did amazing in the sim, 61 and 21. Wow, wow. Um, Bucks, Pistons, Raptors, Heat, Wizards, Bulls, Nets, and then yeah, no one's surprised. The Celtics did a lot worse than I thought. In last time, they didn't do good. 76ers, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought Ben Simmons would be really nice. I mean, he literally did amazing. Is there anything more he could have done? 55%? 47%? Like, he couldn't have done much more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's how everybody looks. Uh, Western. Oh yeah, we knew the Lakers were going to be good. Wow, Rockets are 25 games back as the second seed. Oh my gosh, if the Lakers don't run the table in the West, I'm going to be so surprised. Uh, Thunder, Suns, uh, Clippers, Mavericks, Spurs did a lot better than I thought, and Grizzlies too. Uh, Pelicans were a little disappointing. Um, yeah, other than that, not much. The Nuggets were a little disappointing with Bull Bull, who wasn't even starting, question mark. 21 points a game? Was he not starting? What's it? Okay, he was getting 29 minutes per game, but how, did he play in every game? He played in 20 games, bro. I'm irritated. I'm so irritated that they did this. The Nuggets could have been a lot better. The Nuggets could have been a lot better. Schedule. Is this the beginning of the season? No, this is the end of the season. What is the beginning of the season looking like for them? Okay, so they lost a bunch, actually. And then they won, and they lost, and they won. So, they were definitely doing better with him, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know. They were probably doing trash, but... Let's simulate the playoffs. This video has been going for a while. Um, I don't actually know how long this is going to be. But, I don't want to make it too long. The Lakers are actually having problems in the first round. But, they make it through. Bro! Come on! We lose by two in Game 7. Seiku does 40-17-7. Gary Payne drops 29 for oh, come on, bro. Say D. Uh, I guess outside of them, no one else really did much. I mean, Hamilton had a terrible game. Uh, ben Wallace, you know, uh, he was there for defensive purposes. He had five blocks, so I can't get mad at him. But come on. Uh, damn it. So, Bucks make it through. Cavs make it through. Ooh, Houston got swept. OKC okay, got swept. Oh, my gosh. This is way weirder than last sim. Um, but Lakers make it through. They sweep the Clippers. Um, Davis in the closeout. Yeah, Caruso in the closeout. Wow, Caruso. Come on, Caruso. Damn it. I want him doing better. I want him to be the GOAT. But Dallas makes it to the 
conference finals, which is surprising. Um, Mavericks get eliminated. Cavs get eliminated. So Bucks with both Giannis's. <laughs> oh my God. The Nasus 53. Dropped 53 in game seven. What happened? Uh, while LeBron James did trash. He got clamped up actually. I mean, you got the Nasus and Giannis. <laughs> this defense is going to be crazy. So that's how that's looking like. Um, so we got Lakers, Bucks. Let's look at this close. I came Caruso 28, 19, and 12 with three steals, one block. I'm still expecting the Lakers to win here, but who knows? Yep, they win in five. Caruso is your finals MVP 25, 12 and a half, and nine and a half. Shot not that great from the field, but he shot fantastic from three. Uh, gets a bunch of steals, gets a bunch of blocks. Uh, closeout game 29, 11, and nine. LeBron James 28 and 12. Oh my gosh, look at all those blocks and steals. What did this team do? I mean, both of them still went off. Both of them still went off 31-22. Just, just I guess, they had less help. I mean, they still had freaking Anthony Davis, but there you guys go. I thought this was super interesting. Uh, this was the Christmas in July video. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave that like, uh, comment, you know, um, Anything, whether you, there's a sim you want me to do, a, d a different type of sim, a different type of rebuild you want me to do, um, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when I upload and peace.